Hi everybody, welcome to Ray McVinney's Kitchen. I'm Monique. And I'm Ray McVinney and this is my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, thank you guys for watching. Whether you are watching on Ray's <coughs> page, on the Your Fix TV page, Adesia Farmers Market page, or bike.co.nz's Facebook page, we welcome you with open arms into Ray's Kitchen and we've got a great recipe to share. So let's have a quick chat about this recipe okay. tonight. What's look, the inspiration? I'm doing, I'm doing pasta again. I, li I like pasta. Why, you know? why, why do you like it? Well, why do I like it? Because it's pasta is soul food. I, I really is. love it. it Does it have anything to do with your Italian lineage? Uh, I don't know. It could be genetic. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, possibly is. Now, I, what, what this dish has to do with is my lovely cousin from the Hawke's Bay, Lee, sent me two big bags of these things. Oh, Be walnuts. Beautiful walnuts, yeah. Look, I'm a huge walnut fan. My family are from Blenheim, and yep. down there we have, in Spring Creek, we have a Lots whole of bunch of walnut Blenheim. trees. And so my auntie Sandra makes yep. the best walnut bread, but yep. I never would have thought to add them with pasta. So where's this come from, this, this is, recipe? Well, this is my Kiwi interpretation of a very traditional Ligurian recipe, which Ligurian? is Ligurian, that? Genoa. Oh, okay. You know, that, that's sort of the capital of Liguria. Italy, yeah. top sort of left hand bit of... At the top of the boot? Not completely at the top. Okay. But yeah, of, of gotcha. Italy. And what they do is they make a, they call it a winter pesto actually, because it's not not made with basil, it's made with parsley and walnuts, and doesn't have any cheese in it, bit of garlic and some really nice you know, cream. Okay. And they toss it through pasta, but what they do, and this is my idea of heaven, because I love carbohydrates. Yeah, me too. Love them. <laughs> I just don't eat them every day, that's, that's all. That's right. Um, is they, they mix it, they get pasta, they have a particular sort of pasta. I'm not using the traditional pasta, but a short pasta. Okay. And they cook it with potatoes. That's a lot of that's a lot of starch it's altogether. Very, very comforting. And then w w when it's just about cooked, this is what I'm going to do. So I should actually do it. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. First of all, before we start, <coughs> even I've got a couple of people who have already messaged in. Now these are interactive shows. We are live right now. So if you have any questions, this show is about you guys. You're in Ray's kitchen, but we're actually in your kitchen too. Yeah, so. well, I'm, I'm just the help. You know? <laughs> Yeah. So if you've got questions, please put them in the news feed. I've got all the Facebook pages up here so I can see your questions coming in. So first of all, Natasha Lovett on the bike page said hello, Natasha, Ray. Natasha, hello. Now over on your page, Ray, Romana Locke said. Romana. Hello. Yeah, Romana. Yeah, She's, yeah, yeah. Uh, great to see you. She said hello from myself and Samuel. Samuel, and, hello, Samuel. And Madison has joined tonight. Madison, that's who's her Madison? Daughter. Oh, Madison, good. Yeah, okay. so that's pretty exciting. Good. So great to have you guys with us. And remember that uh, during the session, if you've got those questions, throw them in the news feed. And if you're looking for the recipe, it's on the front of Ray's website, yeah. raymcvinney.com. This is exciting. Okay. I love pasta. Do you guys love pasta as much as I do? Yeah, I love yes. pasta. I really love pasta. It's a favorite of mine. I'm using Italian dried pasta. Nothing wrong with it. Really, really good. Question for you. Yes. Why are you using dried pasta in because I know Because this is what they would use in Italy. And Serious? Yeah, fresh pasta. You've got to be really careful where you get it. it uh, fresh pasta ferments in 24, uh, 48 hours. So I did the not stuff do that. that you buy, it's one of those cases where fresh isn't necessarily better right. with pasta. So I would re rather use a really good quality Italian Durham wheat, um, you know, pasta. Yes, traditional yeah. pasta. Yeah. Okay, so now on your page, Ray, I hope I say this right. Jarurat Jing Wong Sombati. Yeah. <laughs> just said, yeah. hello Ray, long time. And she said, it's me, Jen. Oh, it's Jen. Yeah, she is. Hi, Jen. You're such a great cook. Yeah, I've, awesome. I've, eaten, I've eaten her food. She's oh, Thai, fabulous. Yeah, fantastic Thai cook. Yeah. Oh, great yeah. stuff. Well, thanks for watching the feed tonight. Yeah. Feel free to ask questions. Okay, look. Let's get started. We're just, yeah, we're getting this water. Hey, Pete, I'm sorry. You're going to have to bring that camera over here <laughs> because, you know, it's... We're going to do a bit of stove action. If you're All wondering right? who Pete is, Pete is actually the technical director of this show. He's yeah. behind the camera, making um, all the stream happen. Unbelievably clever. <laughs> Just getting this, because I'm going to cook the pasta in this rather strange looking wok today. But I need to put some salt in it. Don't put any olive oil in your pasta water. Italians fall about laughing when you tell them that you put 
I have to oil. ask about that. Well, I every mean, chef yeah. I have worked with, apart from you, yeah. has told me to put olive oil no, no, in no, the no. water. They think it's going to um, stop the pasta sticking. It's not going to stop the pasta sticking. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Myth um, and, and what happens, of course, is you end up just pouring all your lovely olive oil down the drain. No, what you've got to do is you've got to get it boiling and you've got to put some salt in there to make it taste as salty as the Mediterranean, which is a very salty sea. So stir it up and then taste it. And it's, yeah, it tastes like salty seawater. And that's what it should taste like. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Now, and I'm going to show you how you stop it sticking. Oh, yeah. really? Sorry so about all, uh, you know, we're not going to turn the hood on because It'll it's be too, too noisy. Too noisy. For the so it's just going to be a lot of steam going on. Now, Aaron yeah. Gascoigne has just messaged in yep. and he said, always love watching this feed, Ray. Hey, are you doing the Scallop Festival again this year? And will you bring your A game for the mystery cook off? Oh, a good yes, question. Yes, they've already asked me, I am. Oh, congratulations. I wouldn't miss the Scallop Festival in Wittianga in August, I think it is. I'm not sure when. Mm -hmm. But it's one of the really great local festivals in New Zealand. I really love it. Cool. It's all about seafood and it's That's fantastic. Cool. Yeah. So if you guys want to watch it, let us know and we'll see if we can yeah. cook up a live stream from the event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this short pasta at the same time as cooking these pieces of potatoes. About, oh, I don't know, 11, 12 minutes and that they're going to cook at the same time because I want these two things to be cooking, you know, to be cooked at the same time. So in that goes, so that's the pasta and a little piece of the beans, which, you know, got in there somehow. And the potatoes. Sorry, sorry Pete, just banging a few stainless steel things around here. <laughs> now this is how you stop it st um, from, this is how you stop it from sticking. You've got to stir it till it comes back to the boil. And once it starts to boil, the movement of the pasta will stop it sticking to the bottom and stop it sticking together. So you just got to bear with me for a moment while I stir it up and it comes back to the boil. It's coming back to the boil. Now Ray, your friend Jing has yep. just said... Jing. Jing? I yeah. hope I said that right. She yeah. said, I'd love to cook with you sometime, which is fantastic. Yeah. And then she's, then um, Jing said, I got my cooking page, yummy mummy you. Okay. And then Jing also said, I've invited my friends to watch your video live. Ah, uh, Jing, that's what we like. Yeah. Um, you know. Ging, all I can say is suck kapunka up. Oh, yay. My, my version of Thai, kapunka <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, hello also to Brittany Cunningham, who's watching on bike, Cass Hendry, KJ Jeffries, and Tony East. Thanks for popping in. Thank you. Come on, we need this to come back to the boil. Here we go, coming back to the boil. Stirring it up so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So you're cooking them all together? I'm cooking them. I'm going to cook all these veg... I'm going to cook the pasta, the um, potatoes, okay. and the beans. They all get cooked in there at what? the same time. Don't they all need different cooking times? Yes, they do. So, so well, no. The, the <laughs> pasta and the potatoes need the same cooking time. The beans need about three minutes. So wow. I, I let this cook, and then I, at the last minute I chuck the beans in, let that cook, and they're all cooked together. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, Tony East has only just joined tonight's broadcast yeah. and wants to know, hey, chef, what's cooking? What's cooking? Ligurian pasta. So I'm doing short pasta with beans, potatoes, and a walnut pesto. Because, as I said before, my lovely cousin just sent me two great big bags of walnuts from the Hawke's Bay, and it's a big treat for us every year. So that's what's going on there. So, Fantastic. Sorry, you just got to bear with me while this baby just starts to come back to the boil. Here we go. A great message from Brittany Cunningham, who just said, really enjoying these lives, team. Thanks for all your yeah, hard yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is real time. We're yeah. really doing it. Well, Brittany, thank you, you for know? watching, because, you know, we need an audience, and it's great to be able to cook with you guys. We and love an audience. Yeah, we, we love an, do. I don't know if you've noticed, but we love an audience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so I'm thinking there's a lot of starch in there. A lot of starch. What are your flavours? There's also a bit of protein and... and um, uh, you know, like vitamins and minerals. Okay, in there so too. Where, do, where does the protein come from? The is protein's going to come pasta? from the, no, from the wheat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's Durham wheat. It's really good, you know, high quality stuff. It's good. Well, let's let's talk about this because I know there's been yeah. a lot of arguments about people not not eating pasta and not eating wheat. But you think it's a good thing? Uh, it, 
uh, look, I can only speak for myself, right. and I think it's a good thing, and I eat it. Yes. I don't eat a lot of it, mm -hmm. but I really like okay, it. Okay, so what are your thoughts on people who are wheat sensitive? And I'm going to ask you if that. If they're celiac, I, I mean, I would hate to be celiac. It's a horrible thing. I've yes. got several friends who are celiac. I do too. And it's not pretty. It is not. Um, I don't know. If you're just one of the worried well, and you think you're, you know. <laughs> Tell them. I Tell don't know. You, I mean, yeah. go and get yourself checked out by a real doctor. That's what <laughs> I'd do if you're worried. Um, you might be surprised at what it is that's making you feel not so good. It might uh, not be the wheat. Good point. Yeah. Now, Juliet McKinnon just said, great, Ray. Have always thought you were fab enjoying this. Thank you, Juliet, for watching. It's Thanks great to have you Thanks for the therapy, here. Juliet. I appreciate it. Now, we're going to, Pete, we're going to go back over here, and I'm going to make the, the sauce that goes on top of this. So, Monique, can you just keep yes. your eye on that? And when that yes, gets really hot and starts going crazy, okay. we'll turn it down a bit. But I need to make the walnut pesto. Excellent. Okay. I'm keeping an eye. Jan Turley right. said, looking great, Monique. Thank you, Jan, for my beautiful dress. Clove of garlic. All Debbie right. Curtis said hi. Donna Pownell, I made your chicken with hoisin and green beans the other night. How Absolutely was it? loved it. Thanks for sharing the live video. Good. Donna, thank you. Yeah, it's excellent, really good to Donna. hear. It, uh, look, I mean, it just makes no sense. Uh, me standing up here and us doing this if you guys don't actually um, use the recipes. I want you to use these recipes. Once I've done them, they're yours. Mm. Okay. Now, Abby Leaf just said, hey, 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 good time to come and watch Abby. as I'm starving. Oh, good. Good to see you, yeah. Abby. And she said, a non-related food question, but I've been observing your cooking and wondered, are you left-handed? I'm left-handed. Oh, there you go, yep. Abby. Yep. Sinistro. Yeah. Hey, um... One clove of garlic, three quarters of a cup of those lovely fresh Hawke's Bay walnuts. I know it's going to need salt, so I'm going to put some of that in there. And quite a lot of parsley. Now, at the moment in New Zealand, the only parsley that we're really getting in the shops is curly parsley. In Italy, they'd use flat leaf parsley, but this is going to work just well, fine. Is, is there any difference? Going crazy? That's spoiling, but it's not crazy. Okay, I'm crazier. just going to have a little look at this, give it a stir up. Now, Jan Turley asked a really good question. She said, I'm allergic to walnuts. Can I substitute You could do anything? this with almonds. You could do it with pine nuts. Yeah. There's, there's almonds are probably yeah. a little bit less expensive. Can you do it with peanuts? Uh, I wouldn't do it with peanuts. It doesn't belong. Okay. Different, no, fair enough. Different culture. You know? Right. So quite a lot of parsley. Push it all down. And if this had, this is, I'm using one of the little wand blender food processes. So there's nowhere to pour the oil in. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the olive oil in here. Something good is not crazy. No, good. We'll just keep our eye on that. Now, Ryan Turner said, Hi, Ray. I really enjoy watching you cook, not just not just on this live show, but also on the TV over the many years in your younger days. Thank you. That's so nice. It's really, look, it's honestly yeah. great hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. Feel free to throw in some questions, too, if you've got any culinary disasters I'm going to make a noise kitchen. now. Go. No, I'm not going to turn it on. <laughs> now I'm going to make a noise. <laughs> And it's only a little blender, so I need to push it down every sort of, you know, now and again. And I might as well put all that oil in there, I think. So all that can go in there. Now, Linda Jordan has just said, made the fish cakes last week. They oh, were yeah. amazing. I love those fish cakes. And you think, you know, when you put something like a batter with flour, you think you're not going to get much flavour, but that's serious fish cakes. So a, good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Big noise. Sorry. <laughs> Won't be long, won't be long. Give it a little scrape down. So Linda also said, our husband loved them, made two meals for us along with vegetables. That's good. fantastic. Good, very good, very good. And it's good food, you know, it's, it's real food. That's well, what I, we like. I have to say, Ray, I'm not, yeah. I'm not a fish eater, but even I love them. Good. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't eat fish, but she likes those. Oh, that's so good. I can't imagine someone who lives on an island doesn't like fish. <laughs> Somebody anyway. whose family are fishermen? Yeah. It's only a little machine, you've got to give it time to so you know, do its work, and it's so loud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I reckon that's just about so ready. So I have a oh, No, I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. <laughs> I 
Okay, what's your question? Okay, question, and it's funny because Abby's just asked the same question. Yeah. She just said, um, thank you guys, I've always wanted to make a basil pesto. What's the best recipe? Now the reason why I'm asking There's is- There's only one why, recipe. Why are you not using basil? Why are you using <laughs> because parsley? Because it's winter. I mean, we still got a little bit of basil in the, um, in the garden, but what we have got is, you know, Loads of parsley. Yeah, so it's... There it's, you go. So yeah. you could replace when, par when basil's in season. No, it's a different recipe. Basil pesto is basil. Yes. Pine nuts. Yes. A little bit of garlic. Yeah. Parmesan and yes. olive oil. And that's what it is. Gotcha. This is different. So the... Um, I'm just going to check this. Yeah, yeah. Walnuts are replacing the, ba the pine nuts. The parsley is just replacing the um, basil. The olive oil is always the same, of course, because you've always got olive oil. And um, this doesn't have parmesan in the basil, in the, sorry, in the pesto. It has cream instead. So I'm going to put a little bit of cream in there instead of that. Ah, so, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but I am going to put some pe um, parmesan on the pasta when we eat it. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is technically a vegetarian re recipe. It's not to vegan, no, but no, vegetarian. No, no, totally vegetarian. It, gotcha. would be ve it would be vegan if you didn't put the cream in, Yes, it would it? be. Yeah. Yep. And you could actually leave the cream out if you're desperately vegan. Mm -hmm. And you, you, know? could use, yeah. you could use gluten-free pasta? Um, yeah, actually. I'll just go to my pantry. Okay. Right, gonna, Ray's going to get something out of his and pantry. In the pantry. Is this yes. the one? Yeah. I saw this at, um, at Salvatore the other day. Don't get paid for this, really. Yep. I don't, you know, <laughs> seriously. True story. So, and this is lovely pappardelle, made with eggs, so no good for vegans, but you know. Yes. But gluten free, and it's damn good. Wow. And I am usually very skeptical about people who try and fiddle with very traditional stuff yes. like pasta. Yes. But this is a good, it's a goodie. Okay, so yeah. just so you guys can see the brand there. So yeah. it's from Sabato. I believe you can buy their products online yeah, as well. Yeah, you can, you can. Um, yeah. So that's fantastic. Now, Deng just asked, hi, Ray, I just wonder, where are you cooking now? At home. You, I cook here. <laughs> yeah, I don't cook in a restaurant. No, I'm way too old to cook in a restaurant. <laughs> way you too know. stressful as oh, well, isn't and it? And it's hard physical, yeah, Karen. I want to simplify my life, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't need the complications of all that. Is it still boiling? Yes, it is. It's going good. Good, just good. Just stirring it around so nothing's sticking hey, to the middle. Hey, why don't you give it a stir around and then stick that little knife into one okay. of those pieces of potato. Uh, potato. Just see where we're at with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Sorry to put my back to the camera, everybody. No, hey, that's all right. straight through good. just about. That's good. Okay, I want two tablespoons of cream in this. Don't forget the recipe's on my website, so if you're you know, not keeping up with the recipe, don't panic. You can get it there. Okay, so, so there's still one, a little bit of resistance in the potato, two. Yeah, so I, I think we're a few, be. couple of minutes away. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk for a while. Perfect. What are we gonna talk about? Because we're, Well, you know, yeah. it's an opportunity for everybody watching to actually do a real live Q&A. So we've worked together for 17 years yeah, quite a long at the time. food show. Yep. So yep. I've heard a bunch of questions. And I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to ask some of the questions you've been asked. Mm -hmm. How is that first of all? Need salt. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and pepper. Okay, perfect. Check out this pepper mill, by the way. When I the last restaurant job I had, this was the pepper grinder, and my can sort of when I left, I, I was promised that by the owner, and I just love that pepper oh, that it's, pepper mill. It's really cute. Seriously grunty, and you get these lovely big. Big chunks of pepper. Oh, so yeah. fantastic. Now, first, first of all, do you secretly love gadgets like that? No. You don't love I gadgets? I try to keep my kitchen as simple as possible with the less gadgets because who wants, you know, otherwise you end up just having to wash all this stuff good and point. put it away. And But I do like to have good things and that's a very solid. That's a really good one. Yeah. Okay, Cookie Wild just said, Hi Ray, just arrived. Cookie. Love the gluten pasta, gluten free pasta. Thank you. Yay. Yep. And Gen just said, hi Ray, can you please tell me what your co-host's name is? I think she's lovely. Thank you. Monique. Monique, Monique Bradley. Yeah. So I met Ray through the food show. So I was MC of the food show for 15 years. And in fact, in my timeline today on Facebook was a picture I had of Ray and I working together at the food show yeah. two years ago today. How do you tell when pasta's got? I'll try that. Okay, so like I'm going to try that. Yeah, that's the pesto. Oh no. You're right, calm down. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's all right? amazing. All right. Yeah. Oh, I just like that on bread. I can tell. Yeah. Well, this is a good little recipe. It's a good dip. Mm. It's good on any sort of that pasta. It's so good. I I'm mean, you're getting you the yeah. after flavors yeah. of parsley in there. And I can see that that's actually not cooked because I can see it's sort of raw in the middle. How do you know? Well, I can see how it's. 
got that little white bit of uncooked. Ah, I wish we could show you an absolute close-up. Actually, it's just about there. Just about there. And an Italian would eat it like that. Oh, really? You know, they like it a little yeah. bit al dente. So yeah. in the center of the the circle of the pasta, there's almost a, like a tiny white line. Yeah. Where it hasn't quite cooked all the way through. Yeah, but um, actually, so I don't mind that. that. That is tasting really good. Oh. What you don't want it to taste like is raw flour, like raw pasta. Yeah, mm. that's true. And now, I think this is just about ready. Okay. So now, because this is just about finished here, come on over, Pete. I'm going to throw the, I've got some um, green beans here, and they go in too. So I've got pasta, potatoes, and green beans. So that's got to come back to the boil, see if that, yep, that's cooked. Potatoes are cooked. Pasta's just about, by the time those beans are cooked, which is going to be a couple of minutes, we're in business here. So you've got this really filling, comforting, satisfying soul food Ligurian, Italian Ligurian dinner, you know, or this Kiwi Sounds chef's Sounds exotic. Version of it anyway, <laughs> yeah, because you know what us Kiwi chefs always do, we go and, go and travelling and we get some ideas from overseas and we bring it back to New Zealand and we use our stuff and make, yeah. you know, make, <laughs> make it, it our own. <laughs> God, it's getting like a sauna in here. It is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now Nick Mather has just messaged yeah. in and said, have you, are you, did you use single <clears throat> or double cream in the pesto? Single cream. Single cream, yep. a great yep. question. Organic single cream it is. And yeah. Megan Fang just said, hi Ray, is there any particular type of potato you would recommend oh, for this very, recipe? Oh, very, very, very good question. So and that's, good. thank you. Thank you very much for reminding me. Um, I've used agrias in here because I love, first of all, I love the fact that they're that lovely golden yellow color. And I want them to be really creamy. And even though it's not necessarily a boiling potato, um, it's gonna work really nicely with this because they're really creamy. But at the same time, you could use new potatoes in this, you know, if it was oh, new potato. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jersey Bennies, whatever. I'm a new potato fan. I love, I love them, them, but I love yeah. agria as well. Yeah. I think they're great. And I reckon that that is now cooked. Yes. So, Pete, I'm going to have to get you to back up because I'm heading to the sink because I'm going to tip it. Hang on. I'm going to tip it into the colander as soon as I've put all this rubbish out of the sink. See my big restaurant sink? I love this sink. You could, you know, bath the dog in the sink if you wanted to. Yeah, all those years, <laughs> I, I have big chopping boards and I've got a lot of, you know, big things to do. And one of the things when we built this kitchen was I had to have a great big 50 centimetre deep sink. Fantastic. Now there's a couple of people, Debbie Curtis and right. Patricia Glenn Hay, who have asked for the recipe. The recipe is on Ray's website, raymcvinney.com, so all the details are there. Abby Leaf just said, yum, thank you. In a chicken and pasta dish, is it best to use parsley or basil pesto? A very good question. What's that, what was the question, In a name? chicken and pasta dish, if you're going to use pesto with it, is it best to use a basil pesto or this parsley pesto? Okay, you're asking the wrong person because I I went, I've had the pasta 101 from being in Italy quite a lot, and there are very, in fact, I can't think of one recipe that Italians use pasta and chicken together. They, they can't stand chicken wow. and pasta together. Two white slimy things together? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> so, I never, uh, so I never use chicken and pasta ever. They never put chicken and pasta together and they never put chicken on pizzas. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, so Patricia Glenn Hay said, can you give the recipe? I live in Southland and I've been un unable to grow basil. So again, that's on oh. Ray's website. It's right there on the front page, yeah. in fact. And Cass Hendry said, hi, how often do you do these live feeds? We do them every Tuesday at 6.30. That's yeah. exactly right. Hey, look, so pasta, green beans and potatoes into nice big pasta bowl because pasta isn't pasta until you put the sauce on and mix it up. You don't sit That's the sauce right. on top. Yeah. Weirdness, weirdness. It's such a Kiwi thing, but yeah. didn't you do that for your friends I in did Italy? That, yeah, first time I was sort of there, I cooked them pasta and I sat, it, I sat the pasta on top, uh, the sauce on top of the spaghetti and Daniela's from Naples. And I looked over there and I saw her going like this to her husband, Malcolm, who, you know, and I thought, oh God, what's what wrong? So I, I went straight over there and said, what's wrong? She said, it's not pasta till you mix it up, you know? It's amazing. Yeah. I have to say, since I've been working with Ray, particularly here in his kitchen, these are the sorts of things that I've picked up, and it's made it's made dinner well, it, so much better. It makes it makes total sense when you think about it, because the pasta is there to you know you want the, the sauce to stick to the pasta, yes. and if you look at this, this is penne rigati, which is, it's ridged, 
so that the sauce is going to stick to it. Oh, it's going to stick, stick to, to it, it, isn't yeah. it? And because you've got that yeah. extra starch yeah. in the potatoes yeah. as well, you've got to stir it through, right? So all this beautiful oh, green so good. walnut pesto. Thank you, my dear cousin in Hawke's Bay for the walnuts, again. Um, goes onto that and the heat is going to melt that and I'm going to stir it all together. That looks so good, right? Green and cream. Great colour scheme. Beautiful. Yeah. All you need is some dashes of red capsicum and then it's the Italian flag, right? Well, it's right? the Italian flag, yeah. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so many people have said it looks delicious. Romana Locke just said delicious looking dish. That's good food, right. plenty of protein, you know, nuts, all, you know. It's, and it's one the kids would love as well, right? Yeah, it's made out of real food. There's no additives in any of this. And how long did that like. take you? And how long did this take me? Well, what is it? We got started at 6.30, we talk a lot. We yeah, talk we do. A lot. Now, um, Nick yeah. Mather just said, fab rate, totally doable. And Hand that's what we yeah. want. Doable is really important. Yep. Okay, um, microplane right here. And plate, we'll just Parmesan. up one. Yep, we'll just up one portion here so that you can see what's going on. Pete, we're in, we're in shot here. Okay, so I've got a question yep. Yep. because I know many people have asked me, this is... Oh, that's my parmesan. This yeah. is the parmesan, and you, uh, you may be wondering why is the parmesan? I hope that's in shot for you. Why the parmesan is actually wrapped up in a cloth? I oh, know we talk. We talk the about the sacred parmesan. I know. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, you got to use Italian parmesan. I'm really sorry. I love New Zealand cheese, and we've got really talented cheesemakers in New yes. Zealand. But you can't make parmesan here like you can in Italy because it's a product of the terroir. Just like you can't make French champagne here. Oh, that's you, true. You can't make. No, that's so, true. Parmesan's expensive, mm. so you got to look after it. Now, a message and from. Hang on, we we got to say what. Oh right. You're asking oh, me yes. why. You know. Good question. So and we, well, we've talked about this before. We have, but if you're new to the stream, you're probably wondering why Ray keeps it in a snap lock box wrapped, wrapped up in, in cloth. Yeah, well, that's how. Because it's the precious. It's how you keep your parmesan without going mouldy or drying out. It stays beautifully. Oh, that, look at it. It's so creamy. Yeah, and so now you put some oh. parmesan on top. Okay, and this is your dinner. Oh, that's well, it's so going to be good. my dinner, actually. Now, Romana just asked if you were going to add meat to this. What if could you I was add? going to add meat to it. That's um, a good question. That was so quick. Yeah, it is so quick. I wouldn't put meat with this. What I would do is be very Italian because pasta to Italians is the first course. Mm. So I'd eat this. And then I'd have some, you know, steak or something afterwards. Oh, you know, then okay. I'd have the meat. But it, it, yeah, don't don't try and fix something that's not broken. Yeah, that's I, true. I, I kind of that's think really, Ramona. Now, yeah. what I want to know from you guys watching tonight. Plus, how a little many bit of, of you, more olive oil on oh, it. Of course. Yeah, delicious. Oh, that's so good. How many of you would make this? That's what I really want to know because we're trying to bring you recipes that are easy to achieve in your yeah. kitchen. If Ray can cook them in under 30 minutes, which is what he's done tonight, it should be easy for you guys to cook at home. Thank you. This and you go. Best now, job. just try and calm down. I know. You know, like, I mean, you might not like it. Best but, job in the you know, world. Yeah. Okay. Now, the rule is when you're in Ray's kitchen, you don't have to like it, but you have to try it. And yeah. you have to have a little bit of everything. It's what we do with our kids. Okay. Didn't have to eat anything. Here we go. They had to try everything. I love this. What do you think? Oh my God. She hates it. That is so You like good. it. Good. Needs a bit of salt. That is so Isn't good. Isn't that just soul food? It's heartwarming. It's soul food. It's beautiful. Mm. But it's still really light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not what I expected because I'm thinking starch with potato on not a, No, it's not heavy at all. Not it's, at it, all. It's really lovely. That is amazing. Mm. Yeah. And as, as I say, traditionally they would use a um, different shaped pasta and they would use a basil pesto with it. So I've just messed with it a wee bit. Ah, oh, that's but, so cool. You know, the idea is great. So there you go. Now, Juliet McKinnon said, I sure would. Um, Sarah Green said, looks fabulous. Love your recipes. Thanks, Ray. Cool. Uh, Brian Yardley said, I <coughs> would make that looks good. Uh, Geng just said, I will cook sometime. Thank you. That looks really good yummy. Geng. Ryan Turner just said, can I wash your dishes? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, Ryan. Yeah. Hey, now we are here every week in Ray's Kitchen, 6:30 p.m. on a Tuesday, New Zealand time. I know there's some of you have me have messaged in from around the world. Thank you for coming into Ray's Kitchen here in New Zealand. Now, if you really want to share the love, share this tip with your friends because yeah. Ray's goal is to educate as many people around the world about cooking real food and making it dead easy. So we really want to thank you for watching. Whether you're on. Uh, uh, I have to think of all the Bite. channels. Bite.co.nz. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, thanks to Adesia. Thank you to you, Ray, for your oh, channel. Look, always a pleasure. And your Fix TV. It's great to have this foodie community happening around the world. And Ray, any parting thoughts or fleeting message? Um, eat well, live well, which is what goes on the top of the Bite magazine, actually. It's, it's such a good saying. Eat, totally if you agree. eat well, you live well. Yeah. Remember that recipe is on the front page of Ray's website, raymcvinney.com. I've had a great time, Ray. Thank you. I've had a great time. Thank you all. <laughs> See you guys See next you week. Tuesday, 6.30. See ya.